In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is a skew Hermitian matrix? And to do that, we need to start with a basic definition. So the most fundamental thing you need to know is that A has to be a square matrix. For non-square matrices, you can't have Hermitian matrices and you can't have skew Hermitian matrices. The next thing is the fundamental rule, which is that matrix A is skew Hermitian if one criteria is satisfied. And that is that the conjugate transpose, so the bar here means conjugate, T for transpose, is equal to the negative of your matrix A. This can also be written, and some other textbooks may refer to it with different notation, most commonly is to say that A Hermitian, H for Hermitian, equals to the negative of A. H simply means the conjugate transpose in this context. So that is your fundamental criteria. We'll now look at how you can actually implement this and find the conjugate transpose and prove that a matrix is skew Hermitian. So the matrix here that I'm going to define as A, this matrix is skew Hermitian. And we can show that by simply finding the conjugate transpose and showing that that's equal to minus A. So we start by looking at this matrix and we want to find the conjugate. And to do that, we've got A bar as a conjugate of matrix A. And we just simply take each imaginary element and switch the sign. So minus I becomes I, plus I here becomes minus I here, the plus I becomes minus I, and the conjugate of zero is, of course, zero. This is our conjugate. Then we have to simply find the transpose. So this row here becomes this column, and this row here becomes this column. So we've now got the conjugate transpose. We then take matrix A and then look at what minus A would be. So simply just swap all of the signs, and you get minus A here. You can see that these two matrix matrices are the same dimension. This is two by two, this is two by two. So that's the first criteria of two matrices being equal. And then you can immediately see that every single element in the conjugate transpose is equal to every single element in minus A. And therefore, you've shown that the conjugate transpose of A equals minus A, and therefore, A must be a skew Hermitian matrix. And that is how you prove a matrix of skew Hermitian. I hope this has answered the question of what a skew Hermitian matrix is. If this helped you out, please subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.